G'day. Today we're replacing some bushes on the rear diff, the linkages on the pivot. And you can see they're pretty worn. You can you can move it by hand. They're pretty worn. And up here, so you got one, two bushes on that on that rod. One, two on this one, and then you've got the pivot bush there. Yeah, sometimes it's a good idea to just mark everything, just so you know which way it was. Sometimes it doesn't matter, but it, it's also a good idea to mark it. That way, if you can, and if you notice that wearing on one side, you can flip it around 180 degrees, get some wear happening on the other side. And we'll just we've got those rods off, and now we're just going to take that little pivot off. I'm on the Nolothane website and it just shows you where all those bushes are for your particular vehicle. And this is what we're replacing here. These ones on both sides. And you can see that Nolothane actually call it the Watts Link Pivot. Um, some people call it a, a pivot arm, the rear diff pivot arm. Now unfortunately we couldn't get the Nolothane kit. They were out of stock here. But we managed to get one of these from one of their competitors, a Super Pro kit. We'll start with the pivot bush. Now it's important to support as close as you can to that bush. Otherwise you can end up da damaging or bending these plates here. So we're going to have a, a sleeve like that. Just sit over that. And the bush has to actually go somewhere. So it's going to go into this sleeve. I'm going to flip that. We'll put it like that and then press this through. Now when you're pressing it out you want to get your driver to be a little bit smaller than this measurement here and that's this one here and that'll just be able to push that through through that little bracket. Okay, so we've got our sleeve make sure that's bigger than the hole and you want to be supporting on that middle part not leaning up here you don't want to bend that that in there. Got our driver and that's got to be smaller than that sleeve in the middle there otherwise it'll get jammed in there. And now we just drive it out. Make sure everything's as central as you can make it. One came out quite easily. There we go, it's out. Just got those little bits of damaged rubber there. And there's the old bush. Okay, we've got our pivot bracket, we've got our bush, and we're just going to get it started like so, like that. And then I'm just going to squeeze it in the vise like that. And I'm not just going to force it in. The idea is, so I'm just going to tap this with the hammer until that rubber just jumps past that step there. And that's already gone in. One tap and it's in. It's going in. Now because it's rubber, it's under tension, so you've got to actually when you press it in like that in your vise, just leave it for a few minutes, five or ten minutes, and that will give enough time for that rubber to actually push its way even into that sleeve. Okay, we've left that for about five minutes. You can see it's nearly in, but not quite. What I'll do is I'll find a socket that's slightly smaller there, and then I can press it. The idea is to get that flange to pop out 
around there. Driver. Put it in the middle as best as you can. And that'll actually push the middle part of that uh, bushing in. The flange will just stay there. Don't, don't go too far or you can actually cut, cut it on your tool there. And I think that's actually popped through. Oh, not yet. Uh, what's happening now is that the other side of the flange is hitting the other end of the vise. So I've got to get a, a sleeve and put it on the other side. And use that sleeve we used before. It's nearly gone right through, but. Oh, there it goes, it just popped in. Anyway, if I put that sleeve there, it would have just gone through. And there we go, that one's in. There we go. That's all ready to put back in the vehicle. And now we're going to do these bushes on those link arms. It's the same procedure. You just got to press it out. You got to make sure you've got the driver that's smaller than than that little uh, sleeve is there. So we get a driver that's that measurement or a little bit smaller than that because when you're pushing it out you don't want it to get stuck in that sleeve and that's 1330 so you want to go a little bit smaller than that. You can see how worn that is, I don't know if you can see it wriggling there. We've got our driver tool and that's that can go right through there. And now it's just a matter of pressing it through again, like we did with the other one. If you have a look, that's the left one. This one's actually worn, you can rotate it around like that. The one on the other side is still quite tight, so I'd say that's the one that's doing most of the work. We've got our driver that can pass through as well. We'll put that there, and I'll just get it started on, on that. And you just want to get it as central as you can and it'll just pop through quite easily like that. There we go, we're out. There's the old bush. Okay, we've got the bush there and it's basically exactly like we did before. You'll see these have a bit of a chamfer on them anyway, so it'll get started a lot easier. And just give it its own little time there. When it's under tension it'll just pop in. If you force it you can rip that sometimes. It doesn't happen very easily but it can happen. Okay now because the vice is there I can't go any further. It's got nowhere to go. That flange has to pop out the other end. You can see it's nearly gone through and now there's nothing to support on this side so what I'm going to do is you put it on a flat surface like that and I'm going to tap here but you've got to be very careful you don't damage anything. That rubber should just pop straight in. Oh, it's moving slowly, there we go. Bong, it's gone. There you go. Four more to do, exactly like that. So we need to put a little bit of grease on there because that um, pivots on that.
and now we're going to put a little bit of grease there on the outside of the flanges There we go, new bushes in, just need to tighten it all up, make sure you put the nuts on and double check your work. Anyway, hope that helps, don't forget to like and subscribe, leave any comments or suggestions in the comment section below, and throw us a beer if any of this information has helped you save a few dollars or a bit of time. Thank you for watching.